Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and this is question number seven, part A, from the October November 2021 International GCSE IGCSE Cambridge uh, 0580 syllabus, paper four, variant two. This question here tells us about a diagram here which shows a container for storing grain. The container is made from a hemisphere at the top, a cylinder in the middle, and a cone at the bottom, each with radius two meters. The height of the cylinder is 5.2 meters, and the height of the cone is unknown. They call it H meters. First part of the question says, calculate the volume of the hemisphere. Now, um, then it also says, which you should always make sure you read the whole question, give your answer as a multiple of pi. Now, that's important, because if we didn't read that, we would do the default thing, which is round to 3SF. But here, this is telling us otherwise. It's telling us to give our answers as a multiple of pi. So the answer will be in terms of pi here, not to 3SF. If it's to 3SF, I'm sure we'll lose a mark for that. So now, calculate the volume of the hemisphere. Now, they told us the volume of a whole sphere, which is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So the volume of a hemisphere will be a half of that, because the hemisphere is half a sphere. So it's a, th a half times 4 over 3 times pi times the radius, which is 2, me two meters. The radius of the hemisphere is 2 meters. So times 2 cubed. Okay, so that's going to give us the 2 cancel with the 4, leaving with 2. 2 times 8 is 16, so you've got 16 pi over 3. So that's how we should leave our answer, 16 pi over 3 meters cubed. That's the answer to part 1. Don't round it to 3SF. If you rounded it to 3SF, you will definitely lose um, a mark, because they said leave your answer as a multiple of pi. Okay, and it's always a good idea anyway to leave it as a multiple of pi before your final answer. So even if it didn't have the statement there, I would write it down in this form in my working and have it there in my working so if I need to use it again in another part of a question which is normally the case in paper 4 type questions then I'll have it in its exact form not in its rounded form so it's always a good idea to have that anyway in your steps and if it doesn't mention this round it to 3SF in your final answer but as it mentions gives your answer as a multiple of pi you should write it in terms of pi in your answer in this part, particular question now part 2 says the total volume of the whole container is 88 pi over 3 meters cubed. Calculate the value of this h here. So we know the volume of the whole thing is 88 pi over 3. Um, and we know the volume of the hemisphere now. We just found it as 16 pi over 3 meters cubed. Um, we can find the volume of the cylinder quite easily. Now, a cylinder is a prism. They didn't tell us the volume of, a, of the cylinder, but we should know how to find the volume of any type of prism. It's the volume of the cross-section, like the base, which is a circle, times how high it is. Okay, so it's pi r squared h. So in this case, it's going to be pi times radius, which is 2, 2 squared times h, which is what we're trying to find in this question. So pi times, um, no, sorry, the h of the cylinder is not that. The height of the cylinder is 5.2. The h of the cone is what we're trying to find. So this is times 5.2. Sorry about that. So the volume of the cylinder is pi times uh, 4 times 5.2. Okay, so that's going to be... So you have 4 times 5.2, which gives you 104 over 5, which is 20.8. So let's write it as 104 over 5 pi meters cubed. That's the volume of the cylinder. And the volume of the cone, as they tell us here, which they will tell you for cones and spheres and such, a third pi r squared h. So that's one third times pi times two squared times h is what we're trying to find. So in terms of h, this, this will be four over three pi h meters cubed, meters cubed. Okay, so that's gonna be meters cubed. Okay, just as this is in meters cubed as well. Just make that a bit neater. So we know that the total volume of all three of them is 88 pi over 3 meters cubed. So if I add these three volumes together, I'm going to get 88 pi over 3. So that's how I can find what h is. So I've got 16 pi over 3 plus 104 pi over 5 plus 4 over 3 pi, so 4 pi over 3 h 
is equal to 88 pi over 3. Now, what we can do here is we can divide everything by pi because pi is common in each term. So if we divide both sides by pi, the pi will cancel out. That's one of the advantages of leaving things in terms of pi in these type of questions. You know, you'll end up getting exact answers if you can leave it in terms of pi and then cancel out the pi's like this, you get a more accurate answer. And I want to get rid of the fractions here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both sides and multiply both sides also by 15. So 15, if I multiply by 16 over 3, that will leave me with 5 times 16, which is 80. And if I did take this and divide it by 5, that would give me 3. 3 times 104 is going to be 312. Yeah. And then if I uh, multiply 15 by 4 over 3, I'll be left with 20. So it's 20 times h. And if I multiply this by 15, I'm going to have um, 5 times 88. 5 eighths are 40. So 440, I think that's going to be. Let's just make sure. 88 times 88 times 5. 440, that's right. So now I'm going to have here 380. 392 plus 20h equals 440. So 20h equals 440 minus 392. That gives me 48. So h is equal to 48 over 20. So 48 divided by 20, which gives me 12 over 5. Okay, so 5 goes into 12. Um, 2 times remainder 2, so 2.4. Two, two H is equal to 2.4. The meters are already written there, so it's just 2.4. So that's H, H equals 2.4, just to make sure. Yes, 2.4 meters. So there's the answer for question number A, part 1 and part 2. Okay, so that's the, that's the answer for that one. Now we're going to move on to the next part of the question, which is part 3. And it says the container is full of grain. Grain is removed from the container at a rate of 335,000 kilograms per hour. One meter cubed of grain has a mass of 620 kilograms. Calculate the time taken to empty the container. So we know the volume of the whole container. The total volume was, was it 88 over 3? 88 pi over 3. Yes, that's right. 88 pi. 88 pi over 3 meters cubed. So we got to t t t uh, think in terms of kilograms, okay? It's because we, we know that it, it's removed from the container at 35,000 kilograms per hour. So if we know how much, how many kilograms are leaving the container um, per hour, then we can work out how long it will take to empty the container, okay? Or we, if we work out, sorry, how much... Um, how what the you know, we have the volume of the total container so if we can work out um what the volume of uh, grain leaving per hour is we can then work out how many hours it will take because we know the volume of the whole container if we divide the volume of the the total volume of the container divided by the grain leaving per hour that will give us the number of hours that it takes to empty the container so the total volume of the container divided by the volume of grain leaving per hour will give us the, the amount of hours it takes to empty the container. So we need to find out, um, okay, we got 350,000 kilograms. I want to know what volume that is. How much volume 350 kilograms is, because that's how much is leaving in terms of the mass per hour. Now we know that one meters cubed of grain has a mass of 620 kilograms. So if I can work out the volume of grain leaving per hour, it's going to be 35,000 divided by 620. That will tell us the volume of 35,000 kilograms of grain, which is how much is leaving per hour. So if I do 35,000, I've got too many zeros there. If I do 35,000, let me get rid of this. Why is it not working? There we are. There we are. If I do 35,000 divided by 620, that will tell me the volume of grain leaving per hour. So I'll leave it as 17, is that right? 35,620. Yeah. 1750 over 31. 
So 1750 over 31, that's meters cubed per hour leaving the container. So therefore, the number of hours, the time in hours is going to be the volume of the whole container, which is 88 pi over 3, divided by the volume of grain leaving per hour, which is 1750 over 31. So we're going to take um, 88 pi over 3 and divide it by this answer. So 88 pi over 3 divided by the last answer. Oops. this way divided by the last answer and that will give us 1.6324 1.6324 so that's one hour and we got to change 0 0.6324 into hours by multiplying it by 60 because this is um, in minutes we've got to change it into minutes from hours to minutes because one whole hour and how many minutes take this part which is going to be found by subtracting one from that so you're left with 0 0.6324 times 60 and that gives us 37.94 minutes so that's equal to 37.94 minutes so I'll give you an answer in hours and minutes so it's going to be one hour and 38 minutes okay I guess you could write it like that one hour and 38 minutes it doesn't say to the nearest minute so you could write I guess 38 minutes or 37.9 minutes both of them I think would be acceptable as your final answer for this question part three so this question is all about volumes um, the whole of the question from part one two and three and this is also related to uh, volumes applications of that um, so there's the answer to question part a part b i'm going to make in a separate video that's more to do with circles and sectors of circles and segments so i'll do that in, in another video and save it under a different playlist so um, other questions from this paper that you might want to watch, including part B, will be found in the playlist that can be found in this area over here. Other questions from uh, this topic of mensuration and volumes, um, volumes and surface areas, three-dimensional three figures can be found in this um, playlist over here. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this um, icon. Thank you for watching and see you soon.